and you're watching this video probably because you're curious about how to do nested archetypes. To do a nested archetype, you should probably already have one configured. And the one configured here is similar to the one in the archetype page builder video. If we expand this here, you'll see I have a field set that's got a name, uh, headline, RTE, color information. If I collapse that, I have different options here. We're primarily just going to modify one of these field sets right now, and it's going to be the rich text. In order to do that, we're going to go to the developer section here, expand our data types. Here we can see our original uh, archetype that we're going to modify. In order to put a field in here that has a, another archetype in here, what we want to do is make sure we have at least a second archetype. For just a simple demonstration here, we have a nested one, or a archetype called nested one, and it has one property called text. If we go back here to the page builder, expand one of the properties, that, or the field set, sorry, that I want to modify, I add a, another property, we're just going to call it inner, and it's going to be of type archetype inner. You can name these anything you want, of course. Make sure you don't select an archetype within itself, or you'll have a pretty crazy infinite loop going on. We'll go ahead and save that. Now we can come back out here to our content, and we'll now notice that we have this list here, our nested one. We can do one here, we can do two here. You can make these as complicated as you want or as simple as you want. Save and publish that. If we were to visit the front end of this particular site, you'll see that there's no list information here that gets rendered. So what we want to do is come here to the template and we want to uh, go ahead and add something similar to this, a for each loop. So we're going to grab the inner stuff here. So if we take a step back, I guess, uh, we're looking at an archetype partial right here for the rich text. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab the inner property by model.getValue, and it's going to be an archetype model. So this right here represents that nested archetype. And what we're going to simply do is loop through that. And for each one of these uh, field sets that it encounters, show that so simple one property that is called text. If you want to get really fancy, you can actually use render archetype partials in place of this for each loop if you'd want to. So long as that you have a partial, then that maps to one of those, uh, to that field set alias. So now if we save this and we hit refresh, we now should get our list here, one and two, and that can be as complicated or as easy as you want it to be. And that is how you handle nested archetypes.